Well, this Sunday's Vikings game is more than just the kickoff to a new season. It's also a tribute to a true football legend, Bud Grant. I think the Viking name has permeated the whole country. If you mention Viking to anybody, they'll say Minnesota. I'm proud of being part of the Vikings for all of these years, and I think everybody in Minnesota is too. Such an incredible guy. Yeah, that's another clip from the Vikings tribute video to Bud Grant. You can see the Bud patch being sewn on those throwback uniforms. And we do have a very special guest with us here this morning, the Vikings COO, Andrew Miller. And of course, Andrew brought along one of those brand new yeah. jerseys that the players will be wearing this Sunday. So Why was this such an important thing for the Vikings to do to Bud Grant's legacy? Yeah, so I mean, Bud had such an important impact on the state of Minnesota, our entire community, and the Vikings franchise, as well as just the sport of football. And uh, we wanted to honor his legacy and uh, really honor the, the 1970s Super Bowl teams that he coached. So uh, we're honoring the 50-year anniversary of the three 1970s uh, Super Bowl teams from the Vikings and over 40 legends will be there this weekend to, to honor Bud and to celebrate uh, that anniversary. That's going to be huge. It's going to be great for so many fans to see all these Vikings legends there. The Grant family is also going to be doing the Gallerhorn we've been mentioning this morning. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to have a number of members of the Grant family uh, in attendance and uh, you know some of his children and grandchildren will be blowing the galler horn. So uh, we're really excited to have them with us as well. Really cool. Uh, you are the COO. You've, you're entering your fifth year with the Vikings. Yeah. I would be remiss if I didn't ask about the Netflix documentary that everyone was talking about this summer, quarterback featuring our very own Kirk Cousins. Was the yeah. Vikings timid in allowing him to be part of this? Yeah, listen, I think, you know, when we got approached this by it, um, it was something that we looked at and, you know, Kirk was interested in doing it. And, uh, you know, it's been absolutely incredible. I mean, it really highlighted, uh, you know, his work ethic and what he does to prepare and uh, who he is as a person, a family man and, and as a father. And uh, it's been really incredible to see the reaction to that. Yeah, he's definitely a fan fav favorite uh, from that documentary. I have to ask, too, as a Vikings fan, a lifelong Vikings fan, we always end the season saying, you know, next year's our year. And we always start the season saying, this is our year. So as the COO, what is it going to take for our team to finally go to the Super Bowl and hold up that Lombardi trophy? Yeah, I mean, I think that this is going to be an exciting year. You know, last year we were 13-4 and four and won the NFC North. And, uh, you know, we think there's a lot of exciting reasons, uh, you know, to build off of that. And, you know, from a fan standpoint, uh, you know, we've got a new showtime, the 20 minutes before kickoff. Uh, really excited to unveil that on Sunday morning. And uh, U.S. Bank Stadium is the number one stadium in the league, according to the Athletics. So, yeah. you know, we, we think that uh, it's a unique, one-of-a-kind experience for fans, and they're going to have an incredible time this season. They definitely are. Well, thank you so much for taking time, coming on yeah. Sunrise, and talking with us this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, and Skull. Skull Vikes. With that, let's get to John Skull, buddy. Yes.